Hey guys, this is Gorax and similar to my Era of Chaos weekly update, I'll be doing a weekly update on Dynasty game as well. To find the event calendar, I'll go to fun events and the event calendar is always on the top. Weekly events reset on Sunday as well as in Era of Chaos. So let's go through them and see what we have available this week. So currently Sunday we got running Harvest Festival. Which requires you to gather up different resources on the map to get a different rewards. All these rewards are just basic rewards. They are not something uh, spectacular, but this is something for free. Now the next event is a battle cry, which requires you to occupy creature layers, uh, which is quite good. The rewards are good as well. You, can, you have a chance to get a gold dragon scale, as well as quite a bit of resources. And doing that will consume a lot of your stamina, as well as give you units depending on your uh, city hall level which is quite good but keep in mind you'll need to buy some stamina to finish it the next event is a military preparation so basically you recruit units uh, recruit your creatures they call creature hits which basically is units i'll probably call them units anyway and increase the power by recruiting them and get some rewards which is uh, which are quite nice because they give you a speed ups and you obviously want to keep these speedups for an event where there's a better reward than the one weekly. Now the next events are something that I haven't seen yet, so I won't be able to give a good explanation to them. However, on Tuesday we'll have an event called Road to Reservation. Redeem everything you desire. Let us work hard for the city. So this is something interesting. We'll see what it does. City development, complete daily quest to claim your rewards. So I believe this will be something like a building. City ex Expansion unite as one to build our city. So this might be something uh, similar to it. So like you build, uh, get buildings to up to some level and get rewards. And then we have Blood Moon Eclipse. And this is something that I'll have to make a separate video about. This is quite cool invasion type of uh, event that only a guild leader can start. Sadly, we started quite late and no one was prepared. Now we know what we are dealing with and I'll make sure that I'll be able to prepare my guild for that. And uh, next on Friday, Friday we'll have technological development, which means you'll need to do some researches, to probably like I would, similar to the military preparation, which means you need to get some power to get the rewards. And then on Saturday we'll have Harvest Festival again. So as you can see, this will be uh, some of them. Will, some of these simple events will come in every week, and there will be some special events in the midweek as well. So this is it for today's video about Mind and Magic Dynasty. Um, just a quickly reminder, this is a war game available in soft launch at the moment. I'll put a link in the description where to download. It's only available on Android uh, phones. And it's quite good game and it's not pay to win heavy. Most of the guys that are higher power than me, they spent like 15 pounds only, uh, but they started two days before me. And uh, it's quite easy to get VIP levels because you can purchase them with these dragon coins here in the corner, in the right top corner. So let me just quickly run you guys through what's happening on the servers at the moment. If we go to the rankings, uh, we can see total power for skilled and castle level of all the um, all the players here, the total power, uh, there's only two guys above 5 uh, million power at the moment. I'm only 2 million power and I'm rank 167. Uh, the two guys are from Emperor, Emperor Guild and from my guild, no casuals. Uh, there's not much fighting happening. See these Emperor guys, they only got these kills because they burned their own players that were AFK for more than 4 hours, which is very strict. The maximum castle level is 24, 25, sorry, and the, the guys are at level 19 at the moment, so it's quite high. I'm 15 and I got 16 in the works. When it comes to the heroes, as you can see, Rosalie is a paid hero. You obtain her with your first uh, purchase, which can be done by one pound, this is what I did. And if you invest quite a lot into her, she will become quite good. She boosts your research, that's why she is a maxed out by most of these uh, competitive players however keep in mind all these purple heroes they are still quite useful and you can easily upgrade them and level them up now guild power emperor is first basically this is the guild that has been created first they got the players that were able to whale out the most and they are the strictest the most strict guild on the server they're kicking people who are afk for more than four hours um 
basically it is what it is uh, my guild is still developing we still got open spaces we are recruiting newbie players we don't actually uh try to recruit only the best players if you're starting and we got a spot uh, message me on in the game or uh, in the discord to say that you are following me on youtube and you want to join the team it's also nice there's a territory ranking so you build these banners around your territory and you increase the influence of the guild as you can see we rank to the we are building uh, new banners every day there will be more videos about the story chapters available in expedition hall as well as the trials and challenges as soon as i get them done hope you guys enjoy my content if you do please subscribe to my videos and i'll see you guys around bye